Today I'm going to do an unboxing, something I never thought I would do. I'm generally against the kind of consumerist nature of a lot of YouTube reviews showing off what you've bought, what you can purchase. To me, I'm interested in the art and the creativity of fragrance, not really interested in the status or brand names. But today is special, so I wanted to document it. My first Chanel Big Boy. As you can see, these are the Chanel's I own so far. The Leon 18, 1957, Deauville, and 19 Eau de Parfum. But one of my favorites lately I've been wearing from a sample is Bel Respiro. I finally decided it's time to get one of the 200 mils. Bell is the perfect creamy, green, floral fragrance. It's got that Chanel DNA in the base, the nice creamy goblin on top. I had quite the experience in the boutique today. Due to COVID, they're still only taking appointments. And I made an appointment before coming in, but still waited quite a while. They weren't being generous with samples and the lady told me they were out. I expected to take down quite a haul after buying the large size bottle. All she had for me were a couple of the new Lazo Paris Edinburgh. Now I started to walk back to my car when I looked at the bottom of the box and what she'd given me was Body Zeal. So I went back to the store, had to wait again 15 minutes when a sort of uptight bourgeois woman came to the door saying she just needs her Chanel cream. Let her in. She just wants to buy some cream. Of course, she had to get in line behind me. When I told her my problem, that they gave me the wrong fragrance, she was outraged on my behalf. I'm a pretty easygoing guy, but I found it kind of funny to have this rich <laughs> Palm Beach woman coming to my defense. I tried to use the guilt card to ask for more samples because of their mistake. And I got, ta-da, more Paris Edinburgh. I should have learned my lesson. I went to a different boutique in a mall, a little less nice looking. The lady was incredibly generous. When I bought Deauville there, one of their cheaper offerings, she loaded me up with Lace exclusive samples. The one I went to today is a flagship in Palm Beach because I thought, it's the flagship, they have to be well stocked. I bought 19 there, I bought Le Leon there, went back to the same essay. Yet you were thinking, you would think I was asking for her firstborn child when I asked, could I have some more samples than that? I got her to decant me one of Queer de Russie. She threw in this little boy hydrator and I got her to decant me I forget what the other one I asked for. <laughs> oh, Egoist. I've tried Egoist a few times. I'm debating between it and Bois Zeal because they're actually pretty similar. Egoist obviously being quite a bit cheaper. Anyway, maybe later I'll do a full review of Bel Respiro, but I just wanted to capture on camera the very first spray out of this big honking bottle. Oh yeah, that's good green, fresh, like snapped leaves and twigs. What I really like is the dry down. It's, the reason I got this big one is I feel like it's one that almost encapsulates a lot of the Chanel's. And I might do a video on this one day, but I really believe number 18 is the Chanel mother sauce. It's kind of like a concentrated form of the base you find in everything else. And in fact, the deep dry down of Bel Respiro reminds me good deal of number 18. It's this creamy and brett floral melange that I think gives all the Chanel its character. To me, as much as the iris is spoken about, I feel like the real secret at the base, something like a mix of creamy florals enough blended together to make them sort of indistinct with ambrette, a kind of vegetal muskiness 
Um, I get a lot of that in Egoist. Number 18 is obviously full of that. And certainly the dry down of Bell Respiro is heavy on that. Maybe I'll do a follow-up video soon of Paris Edinburgh. It's not even out yet, but they've got samples. So this is Chanel, still the best in the game. I used to think Frederick Mall was my favorite house, and I think for daily wear it still is. It's the one closest to my style because of its modernity. Frederick Mall is very to the point, uh, nothing extraneous, nothing old fashioned. Chanel can be old fashioned, but the more I get into the line, the more I think there's nothing else like it. Once you get addicted to that Chanel aid, nothing else can satisfy it. It's pretty amazing. So that's why I went with the big bottle, because I think in 20 to 30 years, this kind of smell is going to be rarer and rarer on the market. I hope you enjoyed. Bye.